Acclaimed for its energy efficient design features, Geoscience Australia also houses Australia's largest geothermal heat pump system. Geothermal energy is an unlimited resource. It can be found in your own backyard. Deep down in the earth there is an unlimited store of low temperature thermal energy. 100 metres below Geoscience Australia, the ground has a year-round average of 17 degrees. Geoscience Australia's geothermal system has three components. Ground loop heat exchanger, control and pump room, geothermal heat pumps. The components are connected by pipes throughout the building. During winter, the Earth's heat is absorbed by water circulating through the ground loops. This water is carried by pipes in the building to the geothermal heat pumps. Here, heat from the water is transferred to the air via a refrigerant. The system heats the air to 22 degrees. The warmer air is then distributed to offices. In summer, the building is cooled by reversing the heat transfer. The geothermal heat pumps transfer heat from the air to the water, again via a refrigerant. The ground loop heat exchanger is a network of underground pipes situated at the front of the building. Here, heat is exchanged with the earth. There are 350 holes in the ground loop. The loop is divided into four smaller sections. Each section contains a portion of holes. Every hole goes down 100 metres into the earth. The holes are 20 centimetres in diameter and contain a continuous run of 80 millimetre diameter poly pipe. There is a U-bend in the pipe at the bottom of the hole so that the water can go down and rise up again. The constant temperature of the earth is harnessed by circulating 95,000 litres of water through 70 kilometres of polypipe. That's about the volume of water in two backyard pools and approximately the distance from Canberra to Yass. During winter, the ground loop heats the water by about three degrees. During the summer months, water is cooled down by about three degrees. The control and pump room is at the heart of the system. The Sophisticated Building Management System, or BMS, is the brain power which controls the system. The pumps in this room send water through the ground loop and through the building pipes. Water returning from the building is transferred to a header pipe where the BMS can sense the water temperature. In spring and autumn, when the outdoor temperature is around 22 degrees, the system will sense that it is more energy efficient to recycle water within the building, bypassing the ground loop. There are 210 small geothermal heat pumps located in the office areas. These heat pumps transfer energy between the water and air. They work in the same way as a domestic split system air conditioning unit. But unlike a domestic unit, the geothermal system transfers its excess heat, or cold, into water and then into the earth rather than straight to the air. Using water and constant ground temperatures makes the heat exchange more efficient. So, to summarise, geothermal heating works on the principle of heat exchange. It uses a natural and renewable resource to keep the building at a constant temperature all year round. As there are no cooling towers, there is no risk of Legionnaire's disease. It is also energy and cost efficient. It is expected to save Geoscience Australia around $1 million during its 25-year life. Geothermal energy is literally heat from the earth. Australia's geothermal resources have scarcely been tapped. But there is growing awareness of its potential value.